All right, Shalom. This is the brother Yawala from GMS Chicago, coming at you with another lesson um, from the channel um, GMS El Balance de las Escrituras, which means uh, GMS the Balance of the Scriptures. You know, but uh, first and foremost, I'd like to start off with giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And uh, salutations to the Akim who push out this word in truth and sincerity. You know, um, but basically I want to go into a lesson that goes into uh, exactly what the title of this uh, channel is, you know, the balance of the scriptures. You know, because um, the the main thing right now that's being pushed out is, uh, is, is, is teaching the Bible uh, completely incorrectly, man. Talking about that... Um, you know, God is all love, and, um, you know, uh, that the, uh, the Most High, He's going to come and save everybody. You know, all these lies that are being pushed uh, throughout the world that uh, that really aren't true. You know? And uh, we're, I'm going to put proof through the scriptures um, that, the, that the Bible is a, is a balanced book. That it's not all one-sided or uh, all, you know leading to one side of of any topic but in reality it's um there's an overall balance um you know uh and um you know uh, in judgment and 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 in, in the world we see in today you know we're gonna get into that you know the first scripture i want to bring out is um in the apocrypha king james this is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 42, verse 18. Uh, 42, verse 22, Salakia. It says, Oh, how desirable are all his works, and that man may see even to a spark. You know, just to see the little things of Yahweh Bashim Shai is wonderful, you know, because he's the one that's created everything down to the elements, to, uh, to the you know, to the utmost universe, man. You know, it, it is a great and glorious thing. Verse 23. All these things li uh, live and remain forever for all uses, that they are all obedient. You know, the Lord created rain. It rains when it uh, when He wants it to rain. The sun, it suns out. The sun uh, shines out every morning. The, the moon, you know, uh, rules the night, man. You know, and it all and it all works to the purpose of Yahweh Shai. You know, verse twenty-two and the, twenty-four, and this is the point: all things are double one against another, and He has made nothing imperfect. So, basically, everything's out of balance, man. Everything's uh, uh, uh has a double, you know, one against another, which makes it perfect. You know, that's really where the these heathens got um this uh. The notion of balance, man, and, and, and uh, like the yin and the yang, you know, um, you know, being being one and balancing all things and stuff, you know, it's re it's really in the scriptures, man, because the same way that the Lord created the sun, He created the moon, He created uh, uh, love, and He created evil, He created peace, and He created war, you know, it, 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 these are all the things and inventions of the Most High, Yahweh. Uh, which he, you know, he comes in the name of his of his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna keep going through the scriptures, and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to edify the elect. <clears throat> the next scripture is in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, start off the, starting off at the top. Um, it's a lot. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It says a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. You know, and that, that in itself shows you the balance, man. Because uh, this is written after the, 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 the Ten Commandments. Which, uh, one of the commandments is thou shalt not kill, you know. But if you have understanding of the scriptures and the balance of it, you know that, um, that that kill 
means uh, killing unrighteously, man. And and you know, and sometimes it comes to to a point where it, where it is lawful to do that, man. Like in a time of war, you know. For example, uh, when uh, when the Lord brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the land of Canaan, um, the Lord uh, commanded them to kill everybody in that land, man. And you know, and and, uh, and forwarded to this time and age um, is prophesied that you know, when, once Esau's kingdom goes down, you know, uh, there's going to be mass uh, killings, man, and murderings that's going to happen on the streets. You know, and, and the elect is going to take part of that, you know, which will be lawful. You know, the servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahushat, which is the elect. Um, I'm going to keep going. There's a, a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You know, so that completely cuts... Uh, this world's doctrine where basically he says live it up, you know, uh, stay positive, you know, uh, always be uh, uh, on a good mood, you know, n don't know, um, you know, just uh, keep your head up, you know, because uh, basically, I mean, it's a, g it's a good thing to be happy, it's a good thing to uh, be positive, but, you know, there's times of sorrow, man. And you know, there's there's no getting around that, man. You, sometimes you get you gotta face it. You gotta face it. There's a times of sorrow. There's times of grief. It's not always fun and games. There's a there's a balance to it. You know. <clears throat> Verse five: A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. So that tells you right there. There's a time to refrain from embracing. You know, don't always, you know, open up your arms to everybody, man. Verse 6, a time to get, a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate. So, Again, that cuts the doctrine that God is all love. He just said right now there's a time to love and there's a time to hate. You know, when we're in our kingdom, man, it, uh, it, it was uh, the time to love uh, our people, man. Right now, two thirds of our people are committing all acts of uh, abominations and iniquity, man. So right now we're in a time of hate, man. You know, crying out loud, as Isaiah uh, 58 and 1 says, who cry aloud in the streets. Uh, Declaring the uh, uh, the transgression of our people, you know, we we do it in a in a loud manner and in a rough rough tone, man. Because really, it's it's our fault. We're in this captivity now and day, man. You know, so it's a time it's 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 a time to hate, man. A time for war and a time for peace, you know. And that and, and that alone uh, speaks uh, speaks uh, magnitudes, man. You know, it speaks volumes. You know, but I'm gonna keep going. You know, cause uh, the Lord is not all love, man. There's a He also creates evil. You know, He's the one that's created everything, man. He created the world, and and all the all the deed and all the um, uh, all the acts that go on in this world. He also uh, has ha has placed his hand upon it, man. He's made it happen. He created it. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. You know? That that explains itself, man. And and it's evident also in um in physical aspects. You know, like earlier I commented on the sun and the moon. You know, in Genesis 1 and 3, you go all the way to 5, it basically tells you that uh, that the Lord created the light and uh, and he and, and then uh, he saw that the light was good and divided it uh, from the from the darkness, man. You know, so all things are double, one against another. There's light and there's also darkness, man. A righteous balance. You know, 
and, and that brings me to my next scripture. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. It says, A false ba balance is an abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. You know? And, and, and the weight, you know, nowadays, you know, they, they use that word to, you know, to refer to lifting weights or like something that's heavy, right? But back in the days, they used to have balances, you know, and you you would you would weigh out the, you know, the weights, you know, and the, and the, and the way that you knew it was balanced, that you know the the weights lined up, you know. Um, but basically, that's what the Lord delights in, man. That there's a balance in things, man. You know that uh, we the we could able to show we're able to show love, but we're also able to show hate when the when the time uh, calls for it, man. You know. Or there's a, there's a time to to not say nothing, and there's a time to speak, man. To speak up and say what uh what needs to be said. Sometimes you don't need to say anything, man. You know, and 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 and, and part of our battle in in this world, man, is to learn how to conquer it, man. You know, conquering uh, your uh your uh, balancing your flesh and, and your spirit, man. To learn how to be a a a, a righteous man, via the the law, statutes, and commandments. Of Yahweh Hashem Shai, because those are the ones that are gonna teach you. Uh, that's what's gonna teach you um, how to be in balance, man. With it, that is, if you have the proper understanding, you know. And through the Spirit, uh, naming this channel um, uh, El Balance de las Escrituras, um, I, I hope to uh, edify the elect and achieving that, man. You know that we may have the understanding of these scriptures, you know. Um, and, uh, and, and start living righteously, man. You know? Let me keep going here. You know? This is, uh, I'm going to go to Psalms. <clears throat> this is the book of Psalms, chapter 37. Verse 28, it says, For Yahweh loveth judgment, you know, referring back to the previous scripture in the Proverbs 11 and 7, at the end it said, uh, 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 it says, uh, But a just weight is his delight. So back in uh, Psalms 37 and 28, it says, For Yahweh loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints that are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off, you know, and that in itself is a balance, man. It's and it's a righteous judgment, cause it's balance, you know. He has a people of righteousness and he has a people of wickedness, man. You know, nowadays, the, the uh, well, it's been like that forever. But the wicked are the so-called uh, is Edom, which is the so-called white man, and the righteous is a uh, is a uh, Jacob, which is Israel. It's the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Americans, which are in, which are in captivity today under the so-called white man. You know, but it says, um, "And forsaketh not his saints, uh, saints; they are preserved forever, forever." You know, and um, you know, basically, you know, yeah, we're in captivity, which again, it's another balance. You know, we're in captivity, but. We're going to rise out out of that. The whole reason why we're in captivity is we, we, we just stop following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So then, that, therein again is another righteous balance, man. You don't do the laws and commandments that the, that your, that the Most High, our Father, gave to us. Well, there's repercussions for that, man. You know, it's not like the so-called white man teaches, you know, when your kids, um, you know, um, uh, they act up, you know, and they start acting bad, you know, you don't really give them a real punishment. You just send them to your room, to their room. Meanwhile, in their room, they have an Xbox 360, a PlayStation, the Game Boy, you know, they have everything that, that they that they need in there, man. You know, they'd actually prefer it, you know. But our Father is righteous in all things and in judgment, where he teaches us how, how to live, man. And, and you know, sometimes we got to learn the hard way, man. Which is righteous. <clears throat> what is the next scripture? This is um, 
Proverbs chapter 16, verse 11. It says, A just weight and balance are Yahweh's. All weights of the bag are his work. And that's the point, man. In his work, it's all it's all the just weight, man. You know? We'll keep going here. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 35. It says, Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in mitre yard, in weight, or in measure. Just balances, just weights, and a just ephod, and a just hen shall ye have. I am Yahweh, your power, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. You know? And, you know, the Lord loves judgment, man. But if we don't have uh, the proper balance in judgment, then it's not real judgment. You know, and 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 through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, this understanding, standing, and this balance has been pushed out and brought out through the men of Great Millstone. You know, they're the ones that uh that cut that, that broke down the strongholds on our people, man. You know, they broke down the rea reality of the scriptures, the bitter and the sweet. You know, and, and, and that's a balance in itself. There, there's a there's a sweet part in the scriptures. You know, and there's also bitter, bitter part in the scripture. There, there's the beautiful part of, of the scripture and, and what the apostles call the nastiness of the scriptures, you know. <clears throat> Keep going here. This is, um, this is the book of Amos 5 and 15. It says, hate the evil and love the good. Again, another righteous balance, man. Yes, there is evil, but hate it. Yes, there is good, love it. It doesn't say uh, always lo uh, um, stay loving the good, man. You know, and, and love the evil too, you know. And establish judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh, that it, uh, it may be that Yahweh, power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. But, you know, the point was in, in the beginning, man, you know, to, to cut off, uh, to, to cut uh, the doctrine of, uh, of, this, of, of America, man. Talking about, um, you know, God loves everybody and stuff, you know, which is a complete lie and an abomination. Man. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an abomination because it's a, it's a false balance, but it's blasphemy because it doesn't uh, go hand in hand with what the scriptures say, man. But, you know, just to finish off this lesson, I'm going to finish off this um, uh, with the scriptures of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 5. It says, counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. You know, when a man, he's trying to counsel himself, you know, to try to figure out what's the right thing to do. It's, it's like deep water, man. You know, because you got to consider all options, man. You you, you got to say to yourself, well, if I do this, that is going to happen, man. Oh, but what if I do this, man? Oh, maybe this can happen. I'm not going to do that. You know, and you know, you play out all the possibilities in your head, man. But what? It says, but a man of understanding will draw it out, man. He'll draw out the right conclusion, man. And this is only a man of understanding, man. A, a, a man that under, and understands these scriptures, that has the righteous balance, man, that that knows uh, that the scripture says thou shalt not kill, but there are instances where it is lawful, man. When a man commits adultery, you know, when when it, um, right, you know, when it, when it, when a man becomes a homosexual, you you are uh, it's lawful to put him to death, man. But right now we're not in the time time of war, man. Which, you know, soon enough, uh, a war is to say, like, hardcore war, where um, uh, we're killing each other in the streets. But nevertheless, that is soon coming to America, man. You know, and then it will be that time. You know? Um, uh, but yeah, man, that's the point, man. You know, I'm going to read it again. Proverbs 25. Counsel in the heart of a man is like deep waters. 
but a man of understanding will draw it out, man. And that's the point, man. You know, the 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 men of Great Millstone are the men that are bringing out the the right information. They're giving the right balance, the right understanding of the scriptures. You know, uh, without holding anything back, man. As as it was uh, deemed by Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, but you know, hopefully, you know, through the Spirit, you know, I'll be able to bring out more lessons uh, and edify the peop uh the elect, really. Um, and to uh to various lessons uh that actually goes in the proper breakdowns and the proper balances which were first taught by uh the uh the elders apostles of great millstone you know well, well their leaders too but you know they their leaders started going off you know and uh and through the spirit uh starting from apostle tahar apostle gabar apostle ramla and apostle racha um, you know, they were given uh, the the Holy Spirit, man, and and the Spirit is working with them, those men, and and uh, from from then on down, man, you know. So you know, with that, uh, I'm gonna again say um, all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shimiao Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, and uh, salutations to Yakim out there pushing out this word and truth and in sincerity, and um, Hopefully with that, the elect was edified, and with that, I'm going to say shalom.